This is a super quick buyer's guide helping you to decide between the Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360 and the Galaxy Book 4 Ultra. We have a laptop with a dedicated GPU, the Ultra, with a Intel Core Ultra 9 185H and 32 gigs of RAM versus the Pro 360 with the Intel Core Ultra 7 155H and 16 gigs of RAM. Now keep in mind that both laptops come with a touch screen. However, the Pro 360 is a two-in-one laptop that folds over. Now I did some digging on the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Ultra and yes, it does have a touch screen, but it is not pen compatible. So if anywhere throughout the video, if I mention that it may be pen compatible, know for sure after research, it's not pen compatible, but it is a touch screen. Looking at the pricing option differences here with the Galaxy Book 4 lineup, we have the Pro 360 pulled up before me, 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte SSD, Intel Core Ultra 7, $13.99. Same price is gonna be found on bestbuy.com. Uh, the Intel Core Ultra, uh, 9 version of the Book 4 Ultra with the RTX 4070, $29.99 on Best Buy's website. If we look at it on Samsung's website, it actually bumps up a little bit in price by about $100 when you go ahead and you select the Intel Core Ultra 9 version with the RTX 4070. Now, this is something that I didn't know about. And so if I mentioned throughout the video that it that the Galaxy Book Pro 360 only comes with 16 gigs of RAM. On the consumer website, that is true. If you jump over to Samsung's business-facing website, which I'll include the link in the description below for you to check this out, and you click Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360 and you scroll down, you can get this laptop with 32 gigs of RAM. And it comes in at $16.99. To me, this is a great price point for a premium laptop with 32 gigs of RAM. It's crazy uh, that this is available because up until this point, the only laptops I ever saw available with 32 gigs of RAM from Samsung were the Book 4 Ultra, that's about $3,000, or the Book 4 Pro, that's $2,049. So now you can get a 32 gig Samsung laptop with a touchscreen that is pen compatible for $16.99. This is something that I really wanted to let y'all know about. Again, link will be in the description below for you to check out the live pricing. And uh, if you wanna make a purchase, you can use that link. Of course, the trackpad is the same size for the Pro 360 and the Ultra. They both have the Windows Copilot button. So when it all boils down, let's talk about the performance differences because we have quite a bit of difference here in the specs. Larger CPU, more RAM and a dedicated GPU. Let's see if you need all that. Getting into the Geekbench single core and multi-core, you can see that the laptops are basically neck and neck for the simulated benchmarks. Now, as we go from single core to multi-core, they start to spread out a little bit between the Ultra and the Pro 360, but not by a lot, which is actually kind of surprised me because those two CPUs are supposed to be marketed as, you know, quite bigger performance between each of them. Now, as we move on to the real world benchmarks, this is where we really start to parse things out and see what the performance difference is. Looking at the Photoshop score, you can see that there is a massive sliding difference between the Pro 360 and the Book 4 Ultra. 2000 point difference between the two laptops. Now, once again, we have not been able to upgrade at the point of purchase to 32 gigs of RAM. That's one of the biggest bottlenecks of the Pro 360 in my opinion. And it's really them pushing you towards from a you know sales position to the book for Ultra because it's the one that can be upgraded to 32 gigs of RAM, which Photoshop really likes RAM and provides you with that extra ceiling and more performance. Now, one option to you is to go ahead and find the book three ultra on sale. However, I filmed a full review of the book three versus the book four. As I mentioned earlier, you can check out the pricing differences live in the description below. There's some links. Maybe you can get a sale on a book three ultra. Now it won't have a touch screen, but maybe you can get a sale and it'll give you more performance, give you a little bit less battery life, but you can watch that whole video if you wanna check that out. We need to stick on this video because we don't need to blow the lines too much. So if you're looking for Photoshop performance and you're a heavy Photoshop user, I would go for the book four ultra. Just gonna lay it out there. However, if you're a medium Photoshop user, uh, it means you're not having tons and tons of layers open. You're editing photos here and there, a little bit of light digital art, nothing crazy. You could definitely use the Book 4 Pro 360. But I'm thinking for people with tons and tons of layers in Photoshop, you're trying to do like animation and use Photoshop in a very complex way, you're gonna benefit from that 32 gigs of RAM and the dedicated GPU. Just keep that in mind. Okay, next we're gonna move on to video editing because you cannot do 3D modeling with the Pro 360. 
I mean, it's just hands down, you need to get the book for Ultra if you wanna do any sort of 3D modeling. But in video editing, we have the 4K export. This is gonna be a nine minute clip placed into Premiere Pro, export out at 4K full quality YouTube settings. You see about two minute and 21 second export out of the book for Ultra and then a four minute and 34 second export out of the Pro 360. So about a two minute difference. Still really good, still gonna make a great 4K video editing laptop, but that dedicated GPU is huge in helping the export time. On top of that, you have an extra 32 gigs of RAM, so the program's gonna run smoother. You're talking about two different devices here. You're talking about the graphic designer, photographer, digital artist that's using the Book 4 Pro 360 versus somebody doing motion graphics, video editing, 3D modeling, more complex tasks inside of the creative suite. Those are kind of the two categories I see in my head. And also, what is your budget? Again, links are in the description below if you want to check the live pricing and see which one best fits your needs. Now for 6K video editing, it's no choice. You want to go for the Book 4 Ultra or the Book 3 Ultra. I would not recommend editing 6K footage on the Book 3 or the Book 4 Pro 360. Now let's get into one of the most important parts of this review, and that's the battery life, the efficiency. They went ahead and went with Intel Core Ultra CPUs for both the Pro 360 and the Ultra. We get 11 hours and 35 minutes of streaming video playback out of the Ultra. However, when you go to the Pro 360, you're gonna get upwards of 16 hours of streaming video playback battery life. And if you're somebody who likes to be on the go, then the Book 4 Pro 360 is definitely the way to go. Remember, links are in the description if you're ready to make a purchase or click or tap the screen here for more videos I filmed to help you with your buying decision. I'll see you in the next one.